show you how to press the new clear sublimation pint glass with the white patch in our mug press the BJ860 using the large latte element. To begin, we're going to mask off the edges where the clear glass begins because there is still a sublimation coating on it and your image will transfer past this white patch. So we're going to use thermal tape which will block the sublimation dyes and line the white patch edges with this tape to create a clean border of image. And it also helps protect it once the coating is really hot after coming out of the mug press from any scratching whenever you go to remove the transfer right away. Once that's done, you're ready to apply your image. So you'll have your image printed in reverse on a sublimation paper, and we're going to trim it really close to the edge since there's not a lot of bleed room on this product to work with. This will help line it up easier in your smaller white patch border and make sure that you get your image within the patch area and not on the trim. Take thermal tape and apply it to the top. And now it's ready to press. To set the mug press, you're going to go ahead and turn it on and press mode once, and this setting will be 330. Press mode a second time, and this setting will be 360. Press mode a third time, and this is your time setting, and this will be 60 seconds. And then press mode a fourth time to exit back and allow the press to heat up. Once the press is heated up, go ahead and take your pint glass and place it into the large latte element with using light to medium pressure. Close the element and then press the green button to begin the press cycle. Once it's done pressing, remove it carefully from the heat press and use a weeding tool to carefully peel up the sublimation transfer without scratching the image. Then set this in front of a fan to cool and afterwards then remove the mask tape line.